So uh, story time here. I was on my way to the post office the other day and I was blinded by the sun and I had the visor down, I had my sunglasses on, still blinded by the sun. And please tell me why. My first thought was, how did men handle this um, back in like the 1500s per se? You know, right? With like wars. They didn't have no sunglasses. How did they charge coming down the field with their battle cries? Like, did they just plan around certain parts of the day where, you know what I mean? Because like, how did they deal with that? And also, what would happen if like weather wasn't permitting? Would they just cancel their... And those are the things I think about. When I'm on my way to the post office and I just get blinded by the sun. That's what I think. I don't know what possessed me, but here I am with a high ponytail braid. The first thing that I thought of with this, since I'm, I'm on the path of telling you guys um, first thoughts, but um, I thought of Christina Aguilera's Genie in a Bottle for some odd reason. And then that prompted me to all of a sudden think of Lake Louisville here in Dallas. I don't, it's probably because when that song came out, I think I was at Lake Louisville and I was really feeling myself and singing the song. And then oddly enough, one night again at Lake Louisville, I don't know why I was there so much to be honest. Um, and there was a rumor Christina Aguilera was there like that very night and I saw people were like, oh look, pointing, pointing. And she gets off the boat. I'm pretty sure. I looked right at her, right at this girl, but um, where am I going with any of this? Is anyone still here or? Okay. Well, we're just gonna keep going. Um, I'm gonna show you guys, of course, what I got from Dollar Tree. And so let's just jump right in. I picked up more of these little like note cards. You've seen them in the past several hauls, but I'm just showing you everything that I got. So I got more of these. These are like my top three favorites, I think. The little puppy, the little puppy dog with the heart collar. That one's probably my second favorite after this one. So anyways, whatever, there's the ranking there. All right, then I found this little notepad with all of these bright colorful papers. Um, yeah, now that you know, I'm going through Dollar Tree and I'm just kind of like, thinking journaling and all those things so I'm looking at things from a little bit of a different perspective so you get a hundred sheets in here which this is amazing because you know right the price can't beat that and then I found these and I think these are a gem for some junk journaling vintage journaling too if like that's your thing um they are receipt books look at that I mean even if like you're running your business I really don't know um the need to run a business with these but like maybe there's a reason maybe something like um the ticket counter maybe like a high school football game or I, re I really don't know i don't know but i definitely thought of these from a journaling perspective and you have the carbon copy too so you just only get the one remember when it was like three it was like yellow and pink slide the credit card yeah if you're young and you don't know what i'm talking about and you've only seen that in movies. It used to be a real thing, for real. Um, but I just definitely looked at this and thought this would be so cute for, like I said, junk journaling. Um, I love like all the little numbers here. It just has that, that look and quality to it. And you get 40 receipts per little pack. So of course, I got a couple of these. I'm also on the lookout for the address book again. I really loved that one for journaling and I'm looking for, <laughs> Loki's rolling on his back, but I can't, I can't say his name because he'll come, you know, and you know where, you know where that will go. Um, but the address book and then what else am I looking for? They have something like this, but like in a journal form. So I've been on the hunt for that. I picked up some more of these uh, planner stickers. They're definitely doing like a little dupe to the happy planner. I feel like even the packaging kind of looks like it. This one has a really cute safari theme. I like the cheetah. Oh my goodness. 
yeah these these stickers honestly have been blowing me away so much more lately i'm just i've always been in love with them but even more so impressed yeah so you get those i think i got two of them so i got those and then this is the first time i've picked these up it is the highlights which is another little like brand see this like little h that is another brand at Dollar Tree. It's kind of like tied to Teaching Tree. Um, this is a flashcard number set. And I wanted to open this up on camera because the outside looked really, really cute. And of course, I thought, journaling. <gasps> you guys, look how stinking cute that is. So of course, you see the number there. Oh, the images are so cute. And then on the other side, it's got like all the information. Yeah, this is going to be a definitely pick up put on your list if you are also kind of watching my hauls for some like planner ideas, journaling ideas. These are going to be really cute. Even if you want to cover them up and kind of like make them your own and add a bunch of embellishments, um, just the card alone is worth it. It has that like cardstock ephemera feel to it. So, and I'll just kind of quickly scroll through or flip through these so that you can see what they look like. I know I'm going pretty fast, but you can always pause on each one. Oh, that one's so cute. See, like the hot air balloons, so darling. I forgot to turn my phone off. That was Life360 telling me my daughter just left her apartment. Wow, are we going to 20? Is that where, where it's going? Yeah, so it goes up to 20 and there were more cards like different options this is pre-k through kindergarten by the way so if you want it actually for like the the intended purpose um that's what those are for so i wasn't quite sure i just kind of grabbed them pretty quickly um but i now have to go back and kind of take another good look at those cards so I thought those were very interesting and then i have a bucket this was on my list because i want to wash my own cars now um, I briefly mentioned it in a previous haul. I did order a couple things from Amazon. You're going to get an Amazon haul pretty soon. But when I researched like car cleaning supplies kit, just to kind of like see what I needed on Amazon, in the kit was a bucket and brushes and tire dressing and microfiber cloths, all those things. And I thought, you know what? I can get some of those things at Dollar Tree. So here's the bucket. Even though when you see the Amazon haul, I might not need the bucket, but I'll talk about that later. I did get a brush. This one is specifically for the tire. So after I wash it, I'll spray my tire shine and then just kind of like do that. And then I got one of these, the microfiber wash mitts. They do come in multiple colors and it is a mitt so you can put your hand in here. I just want to try this out. I did buy some microfiber cloths and stuff from Amazon, but I do want to check the quality of Dollar Tree. So I got that. And then look what came back. Dryer balls. What? I'm so excited for this. This just like makes your clothes fluffy. It softens fabrics without chemical fabric softeners. I love that. It reduces drying time and it saves energy and it reduces static and lint buildup. The static right there, I, one, I didn't even know that until I just read that. So I am very excited about this. They also make this in a gray color. I don't know if there's any other colors, but there's that. Then I found some really adorable novelty pens. They're so cute. Most of you know every time I pop into Dollar Tree, I have to look at their pens. Like, look how cute that is. That's gonna be cute for an Easter basket. So if you're still kind of putting one together, go grab this cute little pen. And then I saw this cat, but let me tell you, 
This cat looks like, like he's, he's been through some life, life things, you know what I mean? Like, look at him. He's not here for it, he's not playing, he's not buying it. Whatever it is we're selling, he's not buying it. I picked up some more of my favorite little books, the Classic Tales, which I'm going to show you guys a little DIY that I just did with this. So especially if you've bought my uh, mystery kits, some of them, like I said, they're mystery kits. They are random things. Not every kit is exactly the same. So some kits have little pages from these and some don't or have different pages of other books but i'm going to show you some really cute things that you can do with this so i want to show you again the book this is classic tales they also make the same book with like a red cover i've been looking for that one but i haven't been able to find it it's really the illustrations that i love so much and there are multiple little storylines in here like thumbelina is one uh, rapunzel the fisherman and his wife so but here is the DIY I grabbed some envelopes which are also in my mystery kits and I designed the or I put a page inside the envelope and I did glue it down so essentially you still have the capability of the envelope itself but the inside just has a little design so from a book page so here's that one and then I did Alice which is so cute and then here is this one with this one I was kind of experimenting some more and I did Alice also on the other side I just I'm a little off on the measurements but how cute how freaking cute is that and then here is this option with this like style cut of an envelope yeah you definitely don't want to cover over the envelope part right so see these are the ones that you lick so i didn't put the the book sheet over it so here's this one with thumbelina and then this one what how freaking cute is that right that's why i've been hauling these books and loving them so much and then i thought you know what i need to show them like why i've been talking about it so much so and then these are also really great for the same thing they're just like these little like fairy tale nursery rhymes. So this is the, um, I can't say that, a Aesop's Fables. I feel like I probably know, but I don't know. But yeah, they're just like little fairy tales. But again, it's the illustrations that just get me because I think they're so pretty. This one is all three little pigs. It's like the full storyline. That. But yeah, the... The illustrations are just so darling. And then Goldilocks, which finally I found this one again. I've bought it before, um, but I've been trying to find it. Love Goldilocks. And then this one is Mother Goose. This one just has a bunch of nursery rhymes. Like every page is a different nursery rhyme. Sorry I'm going so fast. I tend to want to keep my video short, but I think it's fine that some of them are long. So, there's that. So there's that idea for you guys. Okay. Um, I also picked up a t-shirt and tank top in black. I'm always on the lookout for this. I love, I have scored white shirts, black shirts, socks from Dollar Tree, and they're like my, literally my favorite clothing items. Um, so I wanted to try this little tank top and I decided to get this in an XL um, so I could wear it like for my walks to just have a sports bra on. I like the length. I love when things are just longer on me so I did get this size for a specific fit on my body. So I got it in this and then they also have it in a t-shirt. Oh no, no, no. I got... I got two tank tops in two different sizes. Yeah, that's what I did. So then I got a small because I wasn't sure, you know, if I wanted to kind of like wear this with differently, I guess, if that makes sense. So 
I got that those two sizes and then I found this cute little um what what is this it's a pollinator kit the kit includes a biodegradable pot one seed packet growing medium and then the instructions plant these seeds to save the bees isn't that so cute? The packaging, I think, is it just absolutely darling. It just makes me want to do like some type of spring gift basket with a bee theme and then do something like this. It's just very cottage core, maybe. I don't know. What do you think? But I've never seen this at Dollar Tree, so this is definitely new. Just letting you know that. And then I picked up these cute little candies. Have like the um little lollipop and that darling so we've got him and then the flamingo which is super cute like what they also had this in like paw patrol i think and then here is the egg this one i don't know if you can see but there is a bunny there's a bunny on the inside and then the candies in the, the base part. But yeah, that is so cute. Great for an Easter basket. I'm gonna give that to my niece. And then I found this, this is definitely new. This little like chocolate lentils, um, like little M&M type candies. But this packaging with this plastic top, I don't know, just looks new. I don't remember this from last year. You could definitely use this uh for like a tear tray if you wanted to right so essentially yeah this label is just destroying it um but with a little bit of patience okay just you know i know this isn't a very very good look but you could definitely do some goo gone or whatever actually what method do you have that's like super easy to take off stickers when they do this please comment because for the love of god i need to know um, usually like a goo gone is what, what I would do, but there's that. And then in this bag, I have more books, more stickers, all the things I've been just absolutely obsessed with. I got more of these cupcakes, which are so cute. Like these right here. Gotta be in the collection. Gotta be. These are brand new. I've never hauled these before so this set is new there's a lot of really pretty texture to this too i know it's hard to tell on camera but running my fingers over it i can definitely feel a lot of that going on then here is this one very vintage i'm loving like the brown feel super cute this one's probably my favorite i love this one and then we've got this one. I really like the key. The key is super cute. I have a bunch of those. So there's that. And then more books. But this time I finally, I finally got my hands on Alice. This one is so hard to come by. Um, they've got, <sighs> give me a second, Fox and the Hound. Winnie the Pooh, Aladdin, Alice in Wonderland. Is that it? I don't know. But let me tell you, I have been wanting to get my hands on Alice in Wonderland. Actually, I was thinking about this. I'm, I love her. I still think my favorite Disney princess is Aurora because I don't consider Alice a Disney princess. Is she a Disney princess? I, I don't know if she's considered that or not, but um, but I just love everything about the whole storyline and the Mad Hatter and, and the Queen of Hearts and just how kooky everything is about it. It's just, it's so cute. Just even like the costumes that they wear and um, it's just so cute. So, Anyways, I only found one because trust me, if I found more, I, I would have probably bought them all. Then I got Cinderella again in this little book set. 
This comes in a set of four, so you get Little Mermaid, Rapunzel, The Frog and the Prince, and Cinderella. And I have collected all of them, by the way. So here's, here's three of them. So the one that's not in here is Rapunzel, but The Frog and the Prince, in all honesty, is probably the prettiest, in my opinion, of the illustrations. So I think I'm gonna have to go back in and stock up on these because I like putting these in my mystery kits because the illustration is just superb. So there's that and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys each one at this point. Little Mermaid. Oh my gosh, I was putting a page in a mystery kit the other day and I saw this one page and I almost added a note. So if you, if you get this care package, not care package, if, you, if you're the person that ordered my mystery kit and you get this print, just know I laughed and laughed right here. Y'all, why the hell is he looking tore up from the floor up and she's smiling? Like this just looks like questionable. You know, now we know she saved him and like we get it, but if you were to never know this story, this is looking like maybe it should be on the, the TV show Snapped. You know, like she's got different plans for him right here. I just saw this image, I was just like, wait, what? 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 Anyways, I don't even know what just happened. I think I just blagged out. Um, here's Cinderella. Now what I love about these little books is that while it's like the classic tales, the illustrations are clearly different from, you know, the movie. I like that. I do want to see like different versions of, of these books. So there's that. Oh, here's Aladdin. Yeah, I love Aladdin too. Illustrations just on point. Just the whole layout of the books, amazing. So there's that, and then picked up some more of these stickers. The little hearts are so pretty. This one, I have some hair on my mouth. This one is a little birthday set. Little ice, the, I think the ice cream set is my favorite. Cause they have like little fruits and things like watermelon, lime, pineapple. This is very darling in my opinion. And then these are brand new. I've never hauled these, so you know if I love it, I get doubles or triples of everything. So go run to Dollar Tree and get this little set. Because here's what I learned as I've been working on my journaling kits. I've been working in my craft room, and as I've been going through my actual drawers, I've been looking back at all of my sticker collections. And I've seen some stickers from Dollar Tree that I'm just like, I wish they would still sell these. And that's the thing about Dollar Tree is they, they kind of rotate at the longest I've, that I've seen them rotate is like three or four years, but then like, that's it, that's the end. Um, then here is this one with the little sharks. I love the sail ship. So cute. And then this one with all the princesses. Even the carriage, <laughs> which is so cute. Even a prince. There's even a little prince. Look at the prince with the crown on his head. See, look, he's ready for battle. But like at what point in the day are you going to battle? Because if it's too early, the sun is blinding. If it's too late, can you see? Like, here's another set. These have the wiggly eyes. So cute, <laughs> the little dolphin. Not all of them have the wiggle eyes. Like, I don't know if you can see that. The crab, no. Look at the crab with his eyes. I can't deal. There's that. And then I found the little frogs. These are not wiggly eyes. They just have like a glittery, not glitter, but like a, 
a sparkly hologrammy look to them, I guess, or sparkly iridescent, not hologram. Here is the flower version of that. And definitely go watch yesterday's or Monday's haul because I showed you some other ones in there that are really, really cute. So I talked about them. Here's more of the frogs because I just love them so much. And then what else did I get here? Yeah, this one was one of the ones that was in Monday's video, but I had to get some more because the bumblebee in the sun just took me out. Like I just had to have more of that. And then here is the little cute princess ones with the unicorns and rainbows and clouds. So very charming and adorable. And then these are my absolute favorite. Um, so I, did I not get doubles? Did it fall down or something? I thought I got doubles. I'm sure, I'm sure it's on the ground, but this one is my, my number one favorite. I've hauled it a bunch of times. I've talked about, I've talked about like the little lemonade, but anytime there's like food or drinks or cupcakes, it's just, I really like it. Hot chocolate, pears, donuts, like this is a big variety. The bananas are really cute. Yeah, this one's like my number one fave. And then they have these, which is also by Jot. And I'm telling you, Jot is my favorite. And that's what's kind of bizarre to me, is that there's so many labels at Dollar Tree, yet they all come from the Dollar Tree warehouse. So like, this is Jot and not Crafter Square. How do they, how do they decide that? Maybe it's like, maybe it's like wholesalers. Or I, I don't know. Why am I even trying to figure this out? But anyways, I found these. They have just like a little kit of stickers. So of course, you know me, I had to get the stars. They're like my favorite symbol, I guess. That's why you always see them in my thumbnails. So you get like a full kit in here. It's a 300 piece kit. So there's the stars. And then this one has a little pirate theme which is super cute. And anytime there's pirates, I always get it just because my favorite movie in the entire world is Goonies. So there's that. And then here's a little butterfly kit. So cute. And the last one that I got is just like a little princess diva kit, makeup and a purse. There's also a heart kit as well. I'll get it the next time I see it so you guys can kind of like see the full collection. But this one's really cute, so I got that. And then the last couple of things, which I've never seen before, they're from the teaching tree section, and they are labeled as a banner art paper. So essentially like for a classroom, I imagine this is the kind of paper you would put down on the wall where you do your, you know, your decorations or like whatever it is. So these are definitely brand new. Is it? Now why would you do that? Why would they put tape on something that is like paper where it would rip it? Oh, okay. That tape isn't too harsh. So here's this. Just so they can kind of hear what the material is like. So pretty, but you could craft the heck out of this. You can make dividers, folders, uh, dashboards, laminate it, make ephemera cards out of it, all kinds of crafting things with um, envelopes like I just showed you. And then here is this one, which looks so pretty. It, I like the, yeah, I gotta take off the tape and I'm not gonna, I'm not going to edit this out, so I'm sorry you're having to watch me do this. You probably don't care. Oh my goodness. That is quite the, the pretty print, in my opinion. It just makes me want to craft when I see stuff like this. I, can't, I don't want to unravel this, but I'm sure it tells us exactly how much you get in here. 28 inches by 5 feet. Wow. So, 28 this way five feet this way that's quite a bit right what would that be like maybe two rolls for a teacher to cover the board 
I don't really know the, the dimensions. Why am I even saying this? But this one's probably my favorite so far. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I forgot about this one. Anytime there's like clouds or sky, trees, I'm just, I'm all about it. Stars, like something about that I really, really like. Um, so this one looks like clouds. Of course, this sticker or this tape is kind of falling apart. Hang on. <gasps> Shut up. I'm obsessed. I'm gonna go back and get more. But that's all I'm gonna say. Cause you already know. That is that is so pretty. That is just brand new. Yep, I'm going back and I'm getting one more roll of the of the um, clouds. All right. So, anyways, I think I think that's it for today's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give a thumbs up. It definitely helps out my channel so much. Um, also, if you just want to support my channel, watching my videos honestly is enough. So thank you so much just for being here and watching my videos. But you can always go to my Etsy shop and order my kits. And you could also buy me a coffee, which link is down below. Um, so just thank you again so much for your support and for being here, for saying the nicest things. Also, as I've been going through my Etsy orders and the comments I've been getting on some of my orders, y'all, um, I... I just, I don't have the words to say, but I'm, but I feel it. I wish I could describe the feeling, but y'all are just like tugging at my heart and, um, it has blown me away. So just thank you so much. Anyways, that's it. I will see you guys next time and 